everyone, it's Chris with more Flying Star Astrology information. Flying Stars is a type of feng shui actually, but I use it because of its predictive quality. I really like it for that. So today we're going to be talking about Flying Star number 8. Oops. Flying Star number 8 sits in the center of the feng shui bagua. So this is considered the center gua, the middle of the tic-tac-toe symbol, if you will, for the feng, sh feng shui bagua. The number eight represents things like um, spirituality, eternity, things that are long-lasting, um, things that are beneficial, helpful things to you, and it sits in the middle. Now, most feng shui um, masters will tell you that anything that sits in the middle is locked. So it's hard to get the energy of that star because it's being surrounded by all these other stars. So it's like it's blocked in. So the center represents balance. Um, in some forms of feng shui, it represents health. It represents the heart, meaning like the heart of your home, the heart of your family. Um, things related to uh, yin and yang, bringing both the male and female energy so you've got that balance in life. And number eight is about creating long-term balance. So with it being locked, more and more people this year can feel like they're not, like things are kind of out of balance, like they can't bring their work and their home life um, together the way they want it to. Or Let's say that they want to include a, an exercise routine this year or increase their exercise routine because they have some kind of long-term goal like running a marathon or participating in a triathlon, something like that. They can find that it's hard to, to create balance. Maybe they're spending too much time on their particular goal or other things in their life are keeping them away from being able to achieve that particular goal because it's taking up too much time. It's, it's out of balance. So that's what this number is about this year. The way that you would activate the number eight star is that it's earth energy and it's sitting in an earth area. So you could use things like um, crystals to activate that energy, uh, quartz crystals. You can also use, I'm coming, getting uh, an image of, of a meditating Buddha. Buddha represents that spiritual energy. So if you're looking to bring more of that into your, into your life, you can do that. So these are ways to enhance that star. But if you find this year that you're not able to get all of the benefits that you want or things are kind of out of balance, it's because it's locked in this feng shui bagua. It's stuck in the middle. So we only have a few more months of that, and then it will move to another part of the bagua, and things will feel more relief, but doing the feng shui activation will help, and also focusing on bringing more, because we don't always think about these things, so focusing on bringing more light, more balance into your life will also help. I hope you found that helpful, and if you like these videos, please subscribe down below to Flying Star Astrology. I also have a website if you want to visit me there, flyingstarastrology.com, and if there's a particular type of flying stars that you want to know more about or how it affects you, write in the comment section down below and I'll look at making a video for you. Thanks so much. See you next time.